We've complained to the police about the police and nothing's been done. We've complained to magistrates about magistrates and nothing's been done. We've complained to judges about judges and nothing's been done. Now it's time to do something ourselves. That statement was made at the mangrove demonstration and represents the essence of black people's experience in Britain. That since we've come here, we've suffered a long train of abuses by the police with the active knowledge and support of the British state. And this is Dark Crimes. Welcome to Thought Crimes, everybody. I am Prince Solomon in the building. We are back. I am here along with... Sincere Ignorance. Absolutely. Miss Sincere Ignorance. You know what? Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to talk about here uh, the television show, Gorilla, directed by Mr. John Ridley. And uh, seems like there's a lot of hubbub, as they say. There's a lot of controversy. Um, now, what has been noted from many observers of this uh, series is that uh, there are no black women at the forefront of this movement that took place in London. Matter of fact, the only black woman in there is a snitch. Yeah, well, also, John really isn't the only director. Sam Miller is also co-directing this uh, miniseries. And yes, uh, John really, though, is the lead director. He got to hold this L, right? Uh, he also was the person who won an Oscar for writing this script for 12 Years a Slave. <laughs> Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that point. Now, uh, let's get into it. You know, uh, it, it talks about a black power movement that took place in London in the 1970s. And uh, this black power movement did have a lot of black women in the forefront that were leading it. Of course, along with black men and black women were leading this. Although you did have other groups of people that were allies within the movement that were uh, of Asian descent. And also some white people, uh, in particular Irish. So that's basically um, the synopsis, though, of that uh, history. Now, on the flip side, they 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 took a Indian man and they flipped it and made it a female, while at the same time taking that particular person, turning it into a woman, but taking a storyline that was somewhat towards or mostly towards. Uh, a couple of black women that were actually doing that, that at that time in the 1970s for uh, the black power movement. Now, some people have an issue with the lead protagonist being a female, uh, Indian female woman, because the fact that that wasn't the case for the leaders of that black power movement. It were it was black women taking up that mantle, as a lot of women from the UK were mad about when they did their Q&A in, uh, in London. So it definitely had a firestorm. Uh, there was one exchange. What was the actor again? Say his name. Uh, his name is Babu Cisse. I may be pronouncing it wrong. I may be pronouncing it right. But it, from my literary comprehension, it's Babu Cisse. So, so yeah, Cisse directed one of the had women. Had an awkward exchange. Yeah, he asked, he told her, well, how do you know? What do you, you think you know just because you read it? Ooh, facts. <laughs> and the lady responded, no, I know because my parents lived it. Ooh, so, take your facts back. <laughs> so she said, you know, I have a direct attachment to this piece of work. And uh, let's be honest, it, it is a historical piece as well. So that's what people have to base it. Now, here's the interesting thing with movies. Uh, the majority of movies have, are, have never been really accurate when it came to historical events. You know, you had... Uh, and then there's a lot of different debates. For example, Lincoln, you know, and the film didn't really touch on the black abolitionists, which were the majority they just, but it was not supposed to focus on anybody else but Lincoln about his mind, about his decisions. Although I don't know how you do that, even with that concept, without focusing on the people that he met that helped shape his policies. So that still gets an L. Then you could go to other movies where they've done the same thing. So here he said he wanted to focus on an interracial couple that was in the movement, which is fine actually, but. Why give this couple the mantle of being leaders 
of a particular uh, movement where they were not. That's uh, something that oh, come on, needs Sensei. to be discussed there. Quit being proper. Quit being proper. He said to himself, the reason why there were no black women in here except that one damn snitch is because my wife and I, and ten, we are in an interracial union. Yeah. He said to himself, his wife is Asian, yeah. my wife is a fighter. My wife is an activist. Yet because of our races are different, there are a lot of things we still put up with. So he's saying basically what we put up with is definitely more than what them black women put up with. Of course, in the 60s and 70s, all you had to do was pull up names like Stella Dadzi or Miss Claudia Jones herself. Yeah. So uh, basically, look, John Ridley is going to have to hold this capital L. He's going to have to hold it all the way through. The black women were there at the forefront along with those black men as well. It was a union. It was a community effort. A community effort that is both men and women participate step to the forefront. Now, if we're going to go along with this semi-quasi-fictional narrative, then we must admit that this series is about as accurate as Abraham Lincoln, the vampire slayer. Yeah, and he he's actually ruined it because... The women in that audience wasn't saying to be better than anybody. They were saying make it accurate to as close as, as possible to what really occurred. Why would you distort it in this manner? And one could say, well, you don't know. It's a, it's a miniseries. Maybe maybe he's doing something where uh, uh, each episode may be on uh, one particular main protagonist. Or maybe it's something. But his answers, though within the Q&A make it seems more less than likely that that's going to be the case you know he sounded so, uh, very insecure in his answers and yes and, and defensive and it's almost like he knew what he did and I don't think he expected I don't think he expected no type of sister to stand up in the middle of that damn room and asking them questions straight up but that's what you get with black women John really you knew that was coming I don't know what you was thinking about or maybe Maybe it was too many lactes. Maybe you had too many coffee meetings. Maybe there were too many ponytail men in suits that convinced you, John, this is a great idea. Yeah, I, I mean, when you when you look at the history and how this took place, you know, in, in uh, Manchester and Liverpool and and all uh, uh, all these other areas, you and how it's close for those who are again conscious and or aware of the history that live in that part of the world mm -hmm. you would think that everybody on board would be i guess sensitive to that uh but again you know when you look at the again the history films they they you know you you definitely have to tell people to read they have to read but at the same time i understand because this happened to stonewall i mean it was a transgender and uh gay black men and women who actually led the forefront to that particular revolution at Stonewall where they were the ones who def defended that community against police brutality and the policies and in the movie from a white gay man he made the lead protagonist a white gay man and uh, from the South who you know he goes there like oh my god look at this gay culture and all this other stuff and then he is the one He's the at hero. Stonewall who's the to, who's the hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and this, even though it's not a white female protagonist or male, it, it, it stems the issue when you revise history like that. Again, this couple could have been showcased in this, but it comes off as if they're trying to paint this couple as the leaders of this movement and that she is the leader of this movement. The Indian woman, and not uh, the women who are actually the leaders of it. Now, if they were within the movement again, and they showcase that relationship, because a lot of women's like, I don't give a fuck about interracial relationship. You know, that's fine, whatever. The whole point is that you are distorting what actually took place there, and this is what we don't like about it. Well, I'm not going to see it. Um, I already know it's goofy looking. I'll be honest with you. I saw a clip. Uh, Miss Frida Pinto, I think she's a dope actress in her own right. And underrated. This year, and underrated. This yeah. is a very uh, historically inaccurate uh, series. And the fact that he responded by 
answering the questions of those black women in that room by saying, oh, well, here's your answer. Your answer is that I'm in an interracial relationship. That's why That's why it's not many of you in there. And the only one that's in there is a snitch. So, uh, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's disingenuous. It's, uh, it's an intellectually dishonorable, to be honest with you. Uh, and I think it's a joke. Then on top of that, this kind of shows that this is... Uh, someone, a director, one of the directors that was just, for the most part, more than likely, uh, was just simply a puppet of the studio. We had to forget, or we may have forgotten, you know, the studios, uh, they actually laid their hand down pretty heavy to, on to a lot honest, of di directors. To be honest with you, on this piece, is actually, he had a lot of leeway. So he had a lot of leeway. He had a lot of leeway. So he's going to have to hold the L by himself. And again, he, look. Are you saying he's holding the L by himself? He's Holding an L. Can we hand him that L? He's holding the L, but... The L was given. People will have to also remember that in certain parts of the world, Asian and black is seen a little bit different. So, like, if you've watched some videos that are call of, you know, black movement and stuff, you'll see Asian people there. You'll see people from India who define themselves as black. I tell you what, people I need to check out an author by the name of Renoko Rashidi, Blacks in Asia. It talks about the history of blacks and what has taken place with the Asian culture, what you're dealing with Cambodia, the Angkor Wat Temple, all of that beautiful magic as well. So, yes, and of course, India itself has a huge... Uh, neglected black populace as well yeah they have a huge problem with racism in india but uh over in the uk what was going on at that particular time there was a lot of connection with the african caribbeans and asian residents and then again within that asian population you had some that did identify as black right uh, so they were they were in the movement too they were a connection they were fighting together uh to combat racism the only point that we're making here is that distorting the fact that black women were uh, also leading this movement, uh, it does a disservice. You could have represented the Indian, uh, the Asian people within that movement as well without having to discard black women. But what does that say, Sincere? What does that say that black women can be completely striked out of that history, even though they were at the forefront? What does that say? I mean, think about it. And this is, this is now, this is directed by a black man. This isn't a Steven Spielberg motherfucker. This is a black man looking like common daddy up there. This is a black man, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you think about that? I mean, this is a black man that did not carry the ball. Yeah, I mean, the, the weird thing is if you look at the black voice at that particular time, you know, uh, the publications in the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, a lot of those publications were by black women who wrote about what was going on mm -hmm. and uh, speaking about their perspective in the fight. So it, it does a great disservice to that. On the weird, on the on the flip side of that, uh, I don't want black people to get twisted to be like, well, there shouldn't be no Asian Indian people in there. No, I no. mean, they were a part of the movement. They were, but the whole point is you don't have to displace black women who were at the forefront of the movement to show to shed light on that okay but here's the thing this is what's ironic to me i'll be honest with you i'm just gonna be real on this situation he actually answered the question accurately when the lady asked him she he says did. why yeah why aren't there any black films uh black women in this film or this series right uh, he said oh because i'm in an interracial relationship absolutely so black women it was that wasn't the focus no. that wasn't the focus for him it, it is a uh it's an L, but what I'm saying here is that he, because he's not really all that connected in that sense, in that regard, uh, is, which is what he was saying. He was unconsciously saying, I just, just didn't cross my plate. To be honest with you, and to the viewers, the only reason why he's getting backlash is really how he answered it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, whether you disagree with the film or not, if he would have just said, well, you know, there were black uh, uh, African Caribbeans and Asian people in the movement. I just wanted to shed light on an interracial couple, their story within that movement, right? That's like a clever, intelligent way to cover up your bullshit, but... It might, it might it probably would have bought him a little time. It would have bought him a lot more time, but instead, he went exactly to what they thought. And then the guy, the actor, on top of that... He got defensive. When he said, how do you know it's true? That's, he, he, 
He put an exclamation part on that How L. How do you know, nigger? Yeah. When, <laughs> when he said that, mm -hmm. that was an embarrassment because, first of all, yes, reading is important. These women own writings and newspapers and stuff is over there for you to see. And then on top of that, the woman who responded, she was like, well, because my parents were there. Well, look, he, here's the thing. He's the one who really made it even more stupid. Even if, even if her parents wasn't there... And if he responded, how do you know? Because you read? Uh, yes, bitch, I read. <laughs> and what I'm saying is the shit that I read and what you're putting on the screen is not matching up. Uh, so And the way that it was, yeah. it was orchestrated again, Asian people were in that movement as well as some self-identified as black, in particular the Indians, the Indian uh, uh, people from, from the UK. The problem is how he tried to displace the black women who were at the forefront of the movement. And again, that's not the, he yeah. could have made that interracial relationship within the context of that movement, not make it seem but like that's not the like issue, black though. women weren't a that's part of it. That's not the issue. The Wait. Asians, the Asians, is not, it's not the issue. We have to yeah. reiterate that. Remember, yeah. people didn't comprehend what we was talking about with Bone the... Ducks. Yeah, and we oh. were saying the exact same thing as most of them ah, in the comment yeah. section. But this so this, I'm going to keep this reiterating this that. This with the, we can put both of us keep their goods. Anyway, look, uh, at the end of the day, the, the biggest issue here is discounting completely black women. That That's what's more powerful to me, is that these women uh, were participating and in some regards of the movement, actually spearheading aspects of the movement, just like here in America, all right, with the Black Panthers, right? Um, and I, I think... Uh, to me, I I'll just be honest. We're going to wrap it up on this note well, here so y'all can leave it on the but comment. Before you do that, I want to do mention the other organizations that were there. Before yeah, all right. I just want to finish my point here on this situation. Uh, like black men, you know, if, if we have uh, black men that can comfortably do this uh, at this stage in the game, then that says something. We are in a really bad time. Um, whether we have... Uh, French Montana, Tyrese running around, uh, this Negro here, John Ridley trying to justify this weird, awkward answer. Uh, it, it says something really bad. And uh, I mean, people can preach all the black power talk all they want. I have no problem. I don't care, you know, what you're in or what relationship you're in, if it's an interracial relationship, don't really care. But it's how you handle your people, though. That's what's more of the problem. The issue here is not so much the interracial aspect. It's how he's handling his people completely. Him and the uh, actor as well. They were completely disregarding of these black women uh, as black men. So I said it's a very interesting time when we have a black director uh, that is actually acting like some of the European white directors we've complained about over the years. That's all I'm saying. So there was, of course, a Black Liberation Front and also a Pan-African Union there. You also had Stokely, of course, who changed his name. Mm -hmm. He also went over there and visited a lot of times to help the movement. Um, you also had uh, the All African People's Revolution, Revolutionary Party. Uh, you also had the African Socialist International because people, uh, you have to remember, a lot of those organizations at the time were very anti capitalism and because if you if you read the history of course when it comes to african people uh, a lot of the capitalism hasn't been really good for them and also if you think about what happened to the continent of africa and its resources uh also to to just to add to that real quick uh, i know some people who were under the the trailer for the showtime show said well wonder about oh you know these black bitches need to be quiet what about what about a scandal and how to get away with murder how to Get Away With Murder is a completely fictional tale. Completely fictional tale. And the white male protagonist looks like a dumbass and eventually, of course, gets killed. Sorry for anyone who didn't watch the first season. <gasps> you know, I didn't see it since here. Uh, also, Scandal is loosely based off of an individual that they just used as an idea of what they want the main protagonist to be as a starting point Steve of the show. Steve Harvey just hired her recently to clean up a lot of his uh his yeah. fumblings. Yeah, and she again, that is not based off of her life. Scandal is just based off of the idea of her. So it's fictional. People understand that. Keep up. Um and if we talk about Shonda Rhimes, um if you look at Grey's Anatomy, she showed black men in interracial relationships with no issue. And she's also showed uh, black men with great 
character traits and and the Grey's Anatomy, you know, being neurosurgeons, being uh, uh, just uh, great doctors. And and uh, that's all I'm going to say. So that Shonda Rhimes thing is kind of bizarre and it's not going to work in the context of what the story is about. Well, yeah. Because, again, the ladies are not complaining about interracial dating. They're complaining about the uh, discrimination. They were erased. Yeah. They were erased. They were completely erased. It's the same shit. That some of those guys that you saying, oh, these black ass women, these black bitches need to shut up. It's the same complaint those guys have when they're talking about, oh, he was erased from the history of Kim at the world. That's what he did. That's what he did here. He completely erased these black women from history. If he didn't say it the way that he said it, I would have checked it out to see if it was in the dynamic of, oh, this is just a couple that I'm focusing on within the revolution. Uh, but because of the way he answered he basically left anything to, to, it's no doubt now. Now you're like, oh, okay. You, you, okay, so you, you. Know what? you I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you. Hell? As sharp as these black women are on these, uh, these blog sites with their YouTube videos, these podcasts, uh, and then them as journalists, they were going to pick up on the shit anyway. Yeah. They really were. You know, they, they, I mean, it's goofy. You have a, a moment here. This is not fiction. They're trying to pass it off as fiction. And as you stated, you don't need to compare fictional shows like How to Get Away with Murder to historical events. Come on now. Again, that's like me comparing, uh, them making Martin Luther King white. And, and, and say, well, you guys did complain when Abraham Lincoln was slaying vampires. No, two completely different scenarios. So um, I'm not looking forward to this uh, this this feature, to be honest with you. It looks a little goofy. I saw a couple clips. Um, Idris Elba's in there, but I'm not going to check it out. Yeah, one last example I will put is in the United States, you also had some other groups of people who were supportive of the Black Panther Party. You had uh, Mexican-Americans who had their own form of the Black Panther. Uh, Panthers. You had Asian Americans at that time who had their own form. Uh, I can't remember that lady's name. I, I can't remember the Asian lady name. Yeah, but she was always there. She was a dope person. Now, let's say you would do a movie on her, right? But you wouldn't erase the fact that, okay, you wouldn't use her to uh, make the black women disappear who were uh, the leading force within the Black Panther Party at the origin of it, creating it, right? You could tell her story. You don't have to displace anybody to tell her story, for example, or to even talk about the the Mexican Americans who have their own, their own form of the black. Uh, the Panther brown party. party, as it was called. Yeah, the brown party. So the whole point is, you can tell other people's stories without displacing black men or black women. Good point, sincere. Um, again, I say this is a very very bad sign this is an ominous sign as us as a collective that this is coming from a black man usually let's be honest sincere usually if this type of complaint is erected it's under the rest of the directorship of a, a white male you know we yeah. usually complain like oh this white man that shit they didn't did it to us again the damn cracker right mm -hmm. but this is a negro and his response was uncanny as well as that little uh, round-headed negro that was sitting up there as well the babu sise it was a stupid ass response so anyway failed i'm gonna give both of you negroes two l's call yourself cool j anyway sincere you have any final thoughts on this if i was an advisor and i wanted to help them i would tell them to use it in the context like this is a couple within the revolution but i'm not and they're not going to do it because based off of how they acted it's obvious that they're not clever enough and it's too late once you do you mm. kick off bad especially with bad, uh, black women they're not going to be like Oh, okay. No, they're going to be like, mm, well, side eye. Well, I don't think eye. they would take your advice side anyway. Side eye. Yeah. <laughs> they're not going to take your advice anyway because you're a black woman. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, all right, We're the bombs. We're the bombs on that. The flex bombs. <laughs> <laughs> this is your boy, Prince Solomon. And this is your girl, Sincere. Peace.